The sub $200 Mirax Finesse. A few months ago, a lot of you were really interested in the Finesse, and I know a few of you even bought one. I bought one too, and for the most part, I was thrilled with the bike. At least how well it climbed on trails, seeming somewhat to defy logic. But really, I shouldn't have been all that surprised. I mean, the bike has gold hubs. And yeah, there is that ride fork, which is comically logoed and has an over excess of branding. It also has a fake taper, but they nailed the look. You can watch my full review on the Mirax Finesse by clicking the card that should have just appeared, and even the follow-up video where I took what was a good thing and ruined it with a tire swap. Now, I haven't ridden the Finesse since the last video I made, and I've decided to sell it to free up room, but before I do that, let's see if I can make it a little better on the cheap, so that hopefully the next owner will have something more suitable as a beginner trail bike. The first thing that needs to go, at least from a trail perspective, is those commuter width handlebars. Fortunately, I have some spare Ace Kit Jessica's 760mm bars, even some red ones with graphics that I think will match this bike well. I also think a different stem would be better. The factory stem is 90mm and it's not all that light. I picked up this Uno 40mm stem for $13.99 on Amazon. There's a link in the description if you need it. I hope this makes a difference. With the stem on, you'll see that I dropped it one spacer. I want to show you a tip I picked up from an old bike mechanic. If you don't want to fumble around with the bolts on the stem end cap, just loosen them and then you can slide your bars in. No dropped parts. Installed, I think it looks more mountain bikey. And as I suspected, those Ace Kit Jessicas link in the description. The graphics on those go perfectly with the graphics on the finesse frame. And here you can see just how much width difference has been added over the factory bars. I will admit that that stem stack does look goofy, but it should make a difference with the setup. I've also been thinking about those factory tires. They gave the bike a low rolling resistance that made climbing almost fun. But as I previously mentioned, I swapped those for some Walmart Goodyear knobbies in hopes of increasing traction on the trail. But what I really did was ruin the entire experience because it killed the easy climb. I've been looking for a chance to use the Snafu tires off the Carbon X. They weren't bad on the Carbon X and they're more beefy than the Goodyear's at 2.3 inches. I think these should add to the Finesse's experience and fortunately, the wheel set they're on has the same 14 to 28 tooth 7 speed freewheel as the Finesse so I can try them out without having to swap the tires on the rims. The Finesse is snafu'd up and it has the new bars and a new stem so it's time to try out my new creation on the trail. Okay, so you may have noticed how high up I am. It turns out that that shorter stem doesn't work at all with this bike's geometry. It's like sitting on a cruiser bike and trying to force that down a mountain bike trail. Well, they can't all be winners, can they? Because this is definitely a failure. It's almost like riding one of those cheap 29er bikes that have the really bad geometry. Actually, I'll say that it's worse than riding those. This is a definite no-go and I've also ridden myself into a firm laden ditch. Here's the problem with the new stem and bar setup. The distance between the saddle and the grips is far too short, almost two full inches shorter than any of my other bikes. With one exception, the Huffy Cranbrook Cruiser. This is definitely not going to work and I'm willing to accept that. But can I make lemonade out of lemons without spending any more money? What if I kept the new bars but went back to that factory 90mm stem? Now, it may look very long, but it actually works, at least in the sense that it greatly improves the bike's handling on the trail, at least over the factory setup. Actually, I'll go further than that. It feels really good and makes the Finesse quite usable as a trail bike for beginners, at least in my opinion. A real bright spot is the addition of those snafu tires. The extra rolling resistance of those Goodyears is now gone and it feels more like the low rolling resistance of the factory tires albeit with mountains more traction. Pun intended. Now the ride is still overly stiff, but that's thanks to that ride fork. But it's still usable. It's usable enough that I can accidentally venture off the trail and slowly ride my way back to finding the path. So this setup works, but you do need a 90mm stem if you're going to use wider bars that have any type of a sweep to them but with 90 millimeters, it's possible to get a really good position. I don't think you can go lower than 90. What you didn't see was in between these takes, I tried out a 70 and it didn't work well. Now I'm not saying you should go out and buy this bike and upgrade it, but if you already have one, maybe there's a little bit of upward mobility. 
But as far as sub $200 3x7 drivetrain bikes, I think this is the best one on the trail thus far, and a lot of that's probably due to the weight. It weighs about 7 pounds less than most of the other 3x7 drivetrain bikes you find at places like Walmart. So for me, I'm content with what this bike has turned into with only better tires and new bars. And yes, it's easy to laugh at the snafu name on the tires, but these are easily the best tires I've seen yet on any level Walmart bike. The upgraded finesse isn't going to win over anyone that has anything better or has ridden anything better, and that's fair. But I've ridden more expensive bikes, bikes twice the price of the finesse, with drivetrains that couldn't handle the jolts that this one can. Let me throw in a disclaimer because your mileage may vary here because I have learned that at sub $200 for a bike at Walmart, quality can vary from bike to bike, even a bike of the same model. And that can explain things like the front suspension on mine being overly stiff, but others saying theirs is quite smooth. Sometimes all it takes are just a couple of extra components or different components to make a bike great. And now it's ready to be sold locally and hopefully ease someone new into mountain biking. But before I do sell it, there's a reason I've been hanging on to it and it has to do with bike lights. For the past few months, I've been collecting bike lights as they've come on sale and some of those lights recommend a bike with 26 inch wheels. And now that it's that time of year that it starts to get dark earlier, these lights are starting to become important and it's time for me to test some out and see which ones perform the best. So stay tuned for that lights video, it'll be available in the coming weeks and it should at the very least be entertaining. Now post a comment with your thoughts on the finesse and these upgrades. Are they a waste of parts or is this an improvement? Thanks for watching another Kev Central video and have a great day.